Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Beria, and I'm the Director of Orthobiologics at The Ohio State University. In this video, we'll discuss the use of hyaluronic, or HA, for knee osteoarthritis. Knee OA is a significant source of pain and disability. It can prevent patients from participating in normal life, and this begins to wear on them emotionally. This combination of physical pain and emotional fatigue increases the risk of depression and negatively impacts the patient's ability to manage other medical problems. As a consequence, OA itself has been estimated to increase all-cause mortality by over 50%. When we put knee OA in this context, it's clear that it is more than just another sore knee, and we need to bring the most effective treatments to these patients to help them break this cycle. This is where HA comes in. HA was first approved in the United States in 1997. Since then, we've learned more about the efficacy of different HA preparations. Features commonly used to distinguish HA products are their source of origin and molecular weight. Regarding their origin, HA can be derived from either chicken combs, referred to as avian HA, or a bacterial fermentation process, which is the non-avian formula. There are both low and high molecular weight preparations as well. It's generally thought that a non-avian high molecular weight product is preferred because these have a lower incidence of common side effects and the higher molecular weight increases joint residence time. So what's the data supporting the use of HA? In 2020, Hummer published a network meta-analysis that included 14 randomized studies accounting for over 2,700 patients and found that high molecular weight preparations provided superior clinical outcomes compared to low molecular weight HA. The benefit of HA also extends beyond simple pain questionnaires. Two separate studies by Ong and Konkoff showed that HA injections actually delay the time to knee replacement and reduce arthritis-related healthcare costs. Patients also frequently ask about the long-term value of repeat cycles of HA. They want to know about the feasibility of using HA as maintenance treatment. To answer that question, Dr. Malenga reviewed a national database of over 26,000 patients, and similar to our previous studies, found that repeat courses of a series of three non-avian high molecular weight HA also delayed the time to knee replacement. Additionally, a multi-center randomized study referred to as the AMELIA Project examined the efficacy of four repeat cycles of HA compared to placebo. At the end of the 40-month study, the placebo group had a 65% response rate compared to over 81% in the HA group. The HA group also had stable symptom improvement for one year after the final treatment, which suggests that there could be additive benefits from repeat courses of HA. Arthrex's Sinojoint is a non-avian, high molecular weight HA delivered as a series of three injections. While there are many products to choose from, it's important to recognize the clinical data supporting this specific preparation of Sinojoint for knee OA. Sinojoint was shown superior to placebo in a randomized, blinded, pivotal study consisting of 399 patients. The Sinojoint group demonstrated significantly better Womack pain scores as early as six weeks, and that benefit lasted the duration of the six-month study. The Sinojoint group also had superior Womack physical function scores at six months. The use of HA will continue to be an important part of arthritis care. Choosing an effective product is an important decision in optimizing clinical outcomes. Sinojoint is formulated specifically to yield the best results and has been demonstrated superior to placebo in a large pivotal study.